It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, my father, the man with the best hair on the whole Northeast, self-proclaimed, but still pretty good, Morning, Dad. Bob Payne. Good morning. How are you, buddy? I'm great, Rye. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Bob, if I was doing any better, it'd be illegal. <laughs> well, I plan on you doing better. That's, I, I plan on you feeling better after today's show. Hey, I like it. I like it. It's uh, nothing All more right. therapeutic than talking finances on the radio with your father every weekend. It doesn't get better than that. And also, Bob, it would be nice to uh, introduce our producer, who's been on the show every week, but you don't hear him because he's in the background, but Mark Haywood. What's going on, Mark? Thanks for uh, showing up like you do every weekend. Good morning, gents. Nice to join the family affair. It's nice to have you on, on radio here, or actually have your voice on radio. You're always on the radio. That's um, right. Sneakily Mark, in the background. <laughs> we just thought with your charm, your uh, you know good nature, it'd be nice to have you chime in once in a while on the show as opposed to just making everything work. That's right. You got to give the people what they want, Ryan. That's true. That's true. And Mark Haywood, I think, is a, is a you know, how can the people not want Mark Haywood, basically? <laughs> well, I know after today's show, Ryan, they'll be wanting more. That's right. That's right. You know, just that, that folksy, down-home vibe. I'll tell you, Mark, you know, you, I don't know how you do it. It's magical. Oh, my goodness. Look, I'm the one that keeps <laughs> the show running. Just know that as you listen today and... Ryan, what do you got for us today? Well, we got a great show this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about flirting with disaster. What areas of your financial life are blind spots that need to be addressed? Bob and I are going to break down the most common mistakes you're making and don't even realize it. We're going to talk about financial madness. March Madness is over in Villanova 1, we know, but the NBA playoffs are just getting started and the Sixers look pretty good. So Bob and I are going to discuss what strategies we can take from the court and you can apply to your own financial game plan. Along with this week's financial pornography, a lot of stuff out there in the news this week that you just need to avoid at all costs. Bob and I are going to call out the biggest offenders. And we have our certified financial planner, my colleague, Bob's colleague, Michelle McKinnon, in this morning. And she's going to talk about a real case, real retirement plan that she worked on in our spotlight segment and just point out different things you need to be doing with your own planning and investing. So let's get started. Bob, let's talk about some areas of your financial life where you might be flirting with disaster and don't even know it. And the one that's very obvious to us is a lot of times you don't have your legal docs in order. You might not even have a will. That's a good point, Ryan. I got a question for you. What percentage of the population actually gets out of life alive? Well, I know Walt Disney is in some kind of frozen chamber, apparently, and I don't think they brought him back to life yet. So I'm going to still say it's at 00 and don't forget, Elvis is still out there, gentlemen. He's still out there. <laughs> well, other than Elvis, I believe everybody that, needs legal documents. And the problem is they get out of date because life is about living and legal documents are about family. And, um, you know, the last I checked, all families put the word fun in the word dysfunction. <laughs> Except for ours, Bob. Except for ours. Well, that's actually not true at all. Right. That's a good point because, you know, a lot of times what happens and what you have to realize is if you don't have your legal docs up to date, you may have people on there as, as beneficiaries that you don't even like anymore. You know, maybe it's a, a brother in law who's not married to your sister anymore or somebody that just isn't in your life anymore and maybe have kids now. You know, a lot of things do change, they need to be updated. And furthermore, if you don't have a will, Bob, you know, last time I checked, the government. The state government's the one that's going to basically administer your will, and they do a great oh. job with the DMV, so I can't imagine that that would be a disaster. Right. The last thing you want to do is have the state taking care of your children and grandchildren. <laughs> I mean, that's, all you have to do is, is look how they run their own financial affairs to know that. Definitely not pretty. And you know, another thing to, just to tag on to that, you know, just having a simple will, how important that is. But in addition, you, we look at our retirement plans, like your IRAs, your 401ks. A lot of times you're 
designated beneficiaries on those are not up to date as well. And that actually takes precedence over the will. So even if your will says one thing, whatever's on your retirement plan says another, that's what's going to go. And a lot of times you haven't updated those in several years. And a lot of times that money could be going to somebody you don't want it to go to or who it's not relevant to anymore. So Ryan, you're saying when I get married this summer, I'm going to go, want to go ahead and update all those beneficiary designations. <laughs> Don't think my fiance wants my brothers getting all my money when I die one day. <laughs> I, I, I suspect she's not going to take too kindly to that, Mark. Well, you know, it's even worse, Mark. We've had situations where a former spouse was named as beneficiary. And how do you think the new spouse feels when they see all of the money go to her? <laughs> well, it's not great, Bob. No, and it's not just, you know, it's not just whether you're remarried. You know, life happens to the living, right? Your children have children. You have grandchildren. Uh, I just had a client in the other day. They brought his son and daughter-in-law in. We went through all of their beneficiary forms on their Roth IRA, their traditional IRA, their 401k, and they had named each other as beneficiary, but they left off two children on the contingent beneficiary because, of course, when they filled out those forms, they didn't have those children. So, you know, whether you think about it or not, you're not finished. When you draw up a will, once you designate beneficiaries, you're not finished. It's, it's a process, just like all planning is. So it's a great thing to have looked at. More importantly, I think, the, I think, Ryan, you know what the big problem is? People don't want to pay to have these forms reviewed. Yeah. And well, the reality of it is, and that's why we do our whole holistic financial master plan, because we'll do a review of that up front at no cost. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need to get my financial life in order. I need a full holistic plan that encompasses everything. Well, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full review. So if you bring in that will that you had updated 15 years ago, we'll have our estate planning partner review it to make sure it's up to date or what changes you need to make. Get it done. We're going to also, if you bring in last year's tax return, we'll have our CPA partner review that to make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. And then just throw in all those brokerage accounts, put them in a brown paper bag. We'll take all of it for you. We'll review everything loaded into a personalized portal so we can get a bird's eye view and we can do a full x-ray of all your holdings. We're going to determine all the critical elements. Number one, income. Do you have a portfolio that's producing income? Income is so critical for retirement and much more reliable than market fluctuations. Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden fees in your portfolio, a lot of those mutual funds, annuities, insurance products. Bob and I are going to break down all the hidden fees in your portfolio, show you how to reduce cost, and we're going to look at diversification. What risks or pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Is your portfolio bulletproof? Are you going to be prepared for the next crash? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together and determine that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So give us a call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, my team at here at Paying Capital Management will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan if you don't call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. I'm Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, 
I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer of Payne Capital Management. The global markets inched higher again this week with first quarter earnings reports driving stock prices higher, allowing the market to ignore uncertainties such as trade policy questions and tensions over Syria. So far for the month, all sectors of the S&P 500 are positive with technology leading the way, followed closely by the energy sector. Now, the new 52-week high in the price of oil is not only helping energy stocks, but it's also driving the commodity index to outperform stocks for the first time in a while. Commodities have lagged the stock market over the past two and a half years, but could be on the verge of a major breakout that could lead to much higher prices. Now, the one fly in the ointment could be commodities strengthening on the expectation of higher inflation. And that could also be the reason why the 10-year Treasury yield rose to 2.94%, just below 3%, the same level that was blamed for sparking the correction in stocks in February. But what is really troubling investors is the possible inversion of the yield curve. All recessions since 1960 have been preceded by an inverted yield curve, which is simply a higher yield on the two-year Treasury bond than that of a 10-year Treasury bond. But the yield curve is not inverted. It's simply flattening, and a flat yield curve does not always invert. And some of the best stock market returns in history have come after the yield curve was flat or even flatter than it is now. Inverted yield curves, recessions, like all worries, they're concerns, but they're not certain. Uncertainty leads to volatility and the dips that should be bought in a big, booming, secular bull market. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio built to win in this environment? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We told you earlier that Bob Payne is the Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. This means he oversees all of the portfolio designs and financial planning strategies for the firm. For 40 years, he's worked to change the way the financial industry approaches financial planning. He turned away from the traditional Wall Street sales pitch and pioneered a new approach to retirement planning using goal-oriented, customizable plans that better fit your individual needs. Reach out to Bob and the team for a complimentary review by calling or texting 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. For all the latest information and news that you need to retire successfully, make sure you go to BeBullish.com. That's BeBullish.com. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, and our producer, Mark Smooth as can be. Hey, Wood, I just made that up. <laughs> and, and Bob and I, we want to educate you. We want to make sure that you're, you're up to date, common sense planning tips that you can use for your planning and investing. That's why we put together our latest video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555 555- 888, that's the word bullish, to 555-888, which just gives you a baseline, get started on the financial planning process. It's a great way to get your toes wet. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888, that's the word bullish, to 555 555- 888. So, Bob, it's definitely uh, tis the season for basketball. We just finished March Madness. As we know, my Wildcats won the championship, along with now we have the Sixers in the playoffs. Sorry, we're from Philadelphia. I apologize to my New York listeners profusely. It is a great time to be a Philadelphia fan. I'm just saying. But let's talk about how basketball, how we can tie that into your financial game plan. 
And one of the biggest rules in basketball, you can really apply it to your financial planning, Bob, and that would be the shot clock. Well, the shot clock was a great introduction to basketball, Ryan, unless you loved watching that four corner offense where, you know, teams like Princeton could compete in the NCAA tournament by simply not taking a shot and just passing the ball around. Uh, I think it's, you know, almost the equivalent of watching paint dry, um, watching a game (laughs) like that. But, you know, it it definitely applies to investing. I mean, there's so many examples over the years you see of of folks who are paralyzed, you know, by analysis. We call paralysis by analysis. That's right. Looking for, yeah. I mean, have you ever heard a bell ring? Uh, you know, somebody just prod you and say, now's the exact right time, right, to put money to work? Never, never. It's Because the markets are always volatile. There's always uncertainty. And I think in our mind, we think, oh, there's going to be this magical day where this is the right time to get invested. And typically, that's too late because that's usually when the market's already had a magnificent run up. Everyone's optimistic. And then you end up getting your money in right at the top of the market. So as we say, Bob, you know, volatility is certainly your friend when it comes to investing. Uncertainty is good for buying. I did an analysis the other day, Rye, of our, our portfolio from the day we opened our doors. And I was looking at the different segments of the market. What would you guess? What segment of the equity market, what size and style had the best performance over the last nine years? Over the last nine years, I know this because I do this every day, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume it's small cap growth stocks were the best performer. And what percentage do you think they're up over the last nine years? I'm going to say like 200% is a wild guess. How about 317%? Wow, I was off. That is a magnificent <laughs> return since the bottom of the market. 317%. I like that, Bob. Yeah, 317%. Now, when in the last nine years was it a good time to wait to get on that gravy train. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, it went straight up. And if you didn't get in, you kind of, yeah, there's no perfect time. Just get in. Exactly. So as you look back, I mean, the shot clock in basketball really helped the game along, making it interesting and makes us pay attention. Same thing. You got a shot clock when it comes to your cash. You got to put it to work. It's no different. No one's ever going to ring the bell, but the best time to invest money is when you have it. Yeah, and I'll even add to that because you know when you're getting to that five to ten years away from retirement, or you're retired now, you don't have the time horizon you did before. Kind of like the shot clock, you are getting down to the wire, and that's why you know you just can't wing it forever. At some point, you have to get serious about putting that income plan together. And the earlier you start, the better. Just like it's better to take a shot earlier before that shot clock is almost ready to run out of time. You know, which is really critical in finances. The other thing I think about, Bob, is just personal fouls, right? In basketball, committing a foul isn't the end of the world. It's part of the game. But, you know, if you commit too many fouls, at some point you're out, man. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, you're limited to five back in in the day I played basketball, now six. I fouled out of a lot of games because, you know, I was a very aggressive player with not a lot of talent. (laughs) He made up for an effort, though. That's That's the important thing. But you know what? When it comes to investing, Rye, you do make a lot of mistakes, right? They're, they're personal fouls that you can harm your portfolio. So it comes back to the old Bobism. It's okay to be wrong when it comes to investing. You know what's not okay? Staying stay wrong. wrong. <laughs> yeah, can't stay wrong. So you have to fix the problems. You know, I was listening to CNBC the other day, Rye. They were talking about that. Now, the average investor sells their winners too soon and keeps their losers hoping to break even. Really not a smart strategy, right? It's really about investing based on valuation, diversification. And if you're an investor, guess what? You're going to be wrong. You can't be 100% right or you wouldn't be listening to us today. Yeah, exactly right. And I think it's like, look, learn from your mistakes Don't repeat your mistakes over and over again. And as you get close to retirement, you've got to be way, way more sensitive and serious about how you're investing that cash to fill in that income gap. Because at some point, you stop working, you got to supplement that income from somewhere and setting up your portfolio in the right way where you have income that you can't outlive is so, so critical. The other thing I think about, Bob, is double dribble in basketball. (laughs) You can't pick up your dribble and then just start dribbling again. So... You know, when you pick up your dribble, you better have a plan for what happens next. You know what I remember most about you as a kid, Rise, those basketball wars we had in the driveway. Where you know, I, I think I let you get away with a lot of double dribbling when you were seven or eight years old. I think you're wrong, Bob. I think I just <laughs> uh, was so quick on my feet that you couldn't tell. 
that uh, I was still dribbling. And I, well, actually, that makes no was, sense. I couldn't stop that stealthy <laughs> left-handed layup you had. I could never stop you from making that, that's for sure. But yeah, so I think that, you know, the, the thing is, you got to have a plan in place when you get the ball, when you start dribbling. And we say this at nauseum, but same thing with your investments. You can't start investing your money before you build the plan. Plan comes right. first, then comes to actually building the portfolio. You know, I was sitting with someone last night over a beer and we were talking about uh, his financial plan. And mm-hmm. I said, well, you know, he's looking to buy a new house. And his advisor told him, well, you know, you're not going to make it to retirement if you don't save more. So you should forget about the house. And I said, well, when does he have you retiring? He's like, I have no idea. Well, I was like, that's kind of important to find out because if you're going to work to your age 65 or 70, it might be feasible. But if you're looking to retire when you're 55, it might not be feasible. You got to have the end in mind. You know, it sounds like you make the same mistake over and over again. Somehow people believe that investing is about making money. It's not about making money. It's about achieving goals. And that's why a plan is so critical. You have to set those goals right and then figure out what strategy do you need to achieve those goals? Otherwise, you'll never stay invested. You'll never do the right things. I mean, saving is just as important as as making money. So you have to have a strategy on how to invest your money, what to invest your money in. And it's all based on what you want out of life. Yeah. And Bob, to chime in, just as an average investor, I mean, I know you guys are the experts, but I played basketball, believe it or not, back in the day. I was not very good. And what would happen is I'd make all these mistakes like we've talked about. And then I'd be afraid to get back in the game. I'd be afraid to take the shot. I'd always pass the ball immediately. And I'd really miss out on a lot of good playing time. And if I just understood that my coach had a game plan all along, I'd feel a lot more free to make those mistakes and get in there, so to speak. And I think that's what a lot of people do with their investing life. They get so wrapped up in the emotions of it all and the fear that they don't take action to make a plan. Man, that's so true, Marcus. When you look at Villanova and say how, how great a team they have, you watch Coach Wright – he just has a strategy and all the players are just cogs in the, in the wheel and they follow direction. They achieve their dream, which is winning the national championship. And if you want to win the national championship in your investing life, now would be a good time to give us a call. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you saved at least 200,000 for your retirement, Ryan and I will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost, but if you're one of the next 10 callers, here's what we're going to do for you. We're going to have our CPA partner review your tax return just to make sure that you're taking advantage of all the benefits under this new tax law, if there are any. Secondly, we're going to have your estate plan evaluated by our estate planning attorney. We want to be certain that your estate plan is titled properly, you have the proper beneficiaries, and it's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we want to review all your investment statements. Now, we don't want you to do a lot of work. We want you to take all those statements that are sitting on your desk, throw them into a shopping bag, and give us a call or text us. We want to put together an x-ray of your portfolio and create an investment analysis spreadsheet where we'll analyze your portfolio to the three core components of a successful portfolio, diversification, fees, and income. You need to be properly diversified. You don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. We want to make sure you're getting the return for the risk that you're taking. You want to be certain that you don't have any hidden cost in your portfolio. You know, a lot of these fees are buried deep in the prospectus. You're deep in that insurance contract that's sitting in your drawer. Lastly, we're going to look at income. Everyone needs a dependable income stream in retirement. My son, Rye, calls it the income gap. We want to be certain that you're able to fill that gap. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my son and I have now been perfecting for over four decades? That's right. For 43 years, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6600. Nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Get the full review if you have over two hundred thousand dollars safe for retirement. Call or text us now at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Get a full holistic review of everything. Call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four. 
752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages in how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, what did you find out there this week in the heinous world of financial pornography? Well, I found uh, groundbreaking research on money management. Wow. Well, I mean, Pain Capital Management, our show is all about, or No Pain, No Gain, is about uh, groundbreaking research, Bob. Enlighten us. Well, they found out, this research, which hedge funds are going to underperform. And you'll never believe what it's based on, Ry. I'm going to say it has to do something with you know where they went to school, maybe education, you know, something that has to do with their analytical skills. That's just my guess. Now, it turns out that alpha males hurt alpha, which is what they call performance in the investment business. Turns out if you have high testosterone, you're doomed to underperform. <laughs> well, I guess I'm out of <laughs> luck, Bob. I guess I'd never make a good hedge fund manager then. <laughs> well, when do you get your testosterone checked? And where is that? I've never seen that appear in a prospectus. So if you're foolish enough, Rye, to want to go out and have somebody manage your money for 2% a year plus 20% of the profits, somehow you have to be able to test them for testosterone. How's that? How do you think that gets done? I kind of like this idea because, you know, we always look at like, what are the ways to interview your financial advisor? You know, want to find out what their track record is. Do they do financial planning? I think it'd be another great question to ask is, what are your testosterone levels? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, as your producer, I think now is where I tell you to be careful where you go with this, <laughs> this analogy. <laughs> Well, I it think could it's just, get weird with your advisor quickly. So, well, so as it Bob, turns out, you know, it, it, and, and this is, uh, I think, coupled with some other research that, that has shown that women are better investors than men. Of course, we know women have very low testosterone levels. Well, funny enough, I mean, if you look at most of our financial advisors at Payne Capital Management are women, and you're right, statistically, they're more disciplined than men as investors. So I'm assuming now if you add that testosterone on top of that, men that have more testosterone, they probably underperform with even greater measurements. I mean, do they mention why someone with more testosterone, Bob, is a is more poor a money manager, just out of curiosity? Yeah, well, it's the same mistake that every day trader makes, right? They trade more frequently. They take more risk. <laughs> they had a great name for it. They say they, they have a preference for lottery-like stocks. You know, basically, it's about ego. And we know that if you trade more frequently, right, and if you take more risk, it doesn't mean you're going to get better returns. Well, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Well, <laughs> keep those testosterone levels down. As well, I can tell you, I can tell you who thought about this, right? <laughs> who? Your favorite investor, Warren Buffett, in his annual letter to shareholders, he talked about how hedge fund managers underperform because they make thousands of buy and sell decisions. They undoubtedly work hard on these decisions that they think will prove advantageous, right? They study 10Ks, they interview management, they read trade journals, they confer with the Wall Street analysts, and guess what? When you take 2% and 20% away from the return, you underperform. The only pe Please. person that makes money is the hedge fund manager. Yeah, that's it. I mean, people, can we just finally realize money managers don't add value? They charge you higher fees and they end up underperforming. It's You want low-cost investments. Especially the ones with high testosterone, it turns out. Yeah, especially with high testosterone. Well, another article I found this week in the world of financial pornography is Robert Schiller, who is on CNBC 
all the time, and he came out with a big prediction this past week. Solid earnings season won't be enough to avert another correction in the stock market. Now, they go on to say that Robert Schiller is a professor from Yale, and he Mm -hmm. also predicted both, Bob, the dot-com bubble of the late 90s and the housing meltdown that triggered the 2008 financial crisis. So he's, he went to Yale. Apparently, he's predicted this before right. What do you think about that, Bob? Well, it sounds like he has a crystal ball, right? I mean, um, he predicted two really big financial disasters, and that, that's a pretty good track record. But what did he say last year? <laughs> Here's the problem, Bob. I went back and looked at what Robert Schiller said for the last nine years. And it turns oh. out he's made the same prediction now for almost a decade. Would you like to hear what he said in 2017? Yeah, what did he say in 2017? He said the U.S. stock market, quote unquote, today looks a lot like it did at the peak before all 13 previous price collapses. Did the Mm. market collapse last year, Bob? I can't remember. (laughs) No, it was one of the best years ever. We, We were up every month, 12 months in a row. So how do you do in 2016? Okay, quote unquote, Yale's Robert Schiller. They always have to get Yale in there. No regulation can stop the next global financial crisis. Do we have a global financial crisis in 2016? I haven't. Let me check. I'll get back to you on that one. How about 2015? What happened then? Okay, Robert Schiller. Unlike 1929, that's when we had the big stock market crash, this time everything, stocks, bonds, and housing are overvalued. Did the wow. market go down in 2015? Uh, the Dow was about 15,000, so 24,000 looks a little different. Yeah, yeah. Dead wrong that year. But maybe 2014, he got it right. So in 2014, he said the United States stock market looks very expensive right now. The CAPE ratio, that's his valuation metric, is hovering at unforeseen levels. So it sounds like he says the same thing over and over again. He's like a broken record. And eventually he's right when there is a correction. Sadly enough, I could go back to 2012, 2011, 2010, and 2009, all years when the market went up and he said the same thing. So when are they going to stop putting this guy on the air? And when are they going to stop reminding us that he predicted two of the last corrections, but then missed every other move. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, and, that, and that's the whole point of this segment, right? It's like we talk to every week about financial pornography. It's not about investing. None of these articles or these experts are about helping you become a better investor. It's all about them selling a book or making a name for themselves. I mean, when do they ever get invested? How do you make money if you're always bearish? Does it matter, Bob, if you went to Yale? <laughs> well, evidently it does for Mr. Schiller. So Professor Schiller, it makes a difference. But, you know, the point is you, you never get invested if you listen to perma bears. Yeah. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a serious plan that's not predicated on the amount of testosterone my advisor has or some guru who's going to predict apocalypse now every single year. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you a real financial plan, our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full review where we'll look at everything. All you need to do is just bring in your statements, put them in that brown paper bag when they come in this month. We'll go through everything. If you have your will, we'll have our estate planner review it and just let you know what updates you need to make. If you bring in last year's tax return, should be done by now, we'll have our CPA partner review that to make sure you're not paying unnecessary taxes. Then we're going to take all those statements, we're going to load everything into one personalized portal for you and look at everything at a bird's eye view, do a full portfolio x-ray. We're going to look at all the critical things you need to know about your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Do you have income producing investments? Income so critical in retirement. Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio. You probably don't know it, but we're going to look at those mutual funds, insurance products, and show you all the costs in your portfolio, show you how to reduce cost. And we're going to look at diversification. What unforeseen risks do you have in your portfolio? We're going to point out all your blind spots to help protect against the next market crash. Then what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? Hey, don't miss out. Give us a call or simply text 844-752-6692. 
If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200,000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost. There's no strings attached. But you have to call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. No Gain Financial Radio. Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremi pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, and of course our producer, Mark Hayward. I am here to serve, gentlemen. Man, oh man, Mark. We love having you, man. It's great to have your voice on the show now. So, pretty cool stuff. Um, so, you know, one thing that Bob and I try to do is come up with easy, simple ways for you to get started with your planning and investing. Make sure you're retirement ready. Or if you're retired now, make sure you're making the right decisions. And that's why we put together our newest online video course, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's a simple course. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888, and you can just get a baseline started. Find out what you need to know about getting your retirement planning process started. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to know more about me, and Bob. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but check it out for yourself. You can go to BeBullish.com. You can get all our latest episodes of No Pain, No Gain. Check out some of our newest videos. Simply go to BeBullish.com and you can check it out there. And most weeks, I'm on with Stuart Varney at Fox Business News at 11 every Tuesday, or most Tuesdays. You can check me out for some market commentary there. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, You can always email us, questions at bbullish.com. That's questions at bbullish.com. Bob and I will answer your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we're going to answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some great questions. So, Bob, the first question is for you. It's from Olivia. She's on the Upper East Side here in Manhattan. She writes in, Bob, my husband and I are always, we always argue because I want to redo our kitchen but he says we need to save more for retirement. We already save a lot. How much is enough? Well, Ra, you know, how often should you redo your kitchen is the big question. Based on my experience, it seems like all the time. <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> no one has experienced uh, redoing your homes more than you, Bob. It's my cross the bear. But you know what, Ra, that's a great question. How much is enough? How do you know when you're saving enough? I mean, should you set a target in terms of net worth or is it an annual savings rate? How do you know when it's enough? Yeah, and I think that's why we always pound the table about planning based when it comes to your investment planning, you know, figuring out what your goals are first. Like I was saying earlier in the show, I was out with a lawyer friend the other night. He wants to buy this big house out in Largemont, Westchester. It's a little bit more expensive than what he initially had planned to spend. And he went back to his advisor and his advisor said to him, like, hey, you need to save more for retirement. And again, I said, well, when is retirement? He didn't even know. So I think you got to break those things down because maybe you can't afford the house. Maybe you can't afford to redo the kitchen. And how much is it going to sacrifice your other goals? I mean, maybe you don't need to save as much to get to what goals that you've articulated. But I think that's huge, Bob. You've really got to define those things. Well, you do. And I think you can have your cake and eat it too, as they say. To every goal in your plan, you can assign a cost, right? And, and, and it's just a matter of doing the math. So we have complex tools that are able to do a wealth projection, right? And, and net out inflation and taxation. I think a lot of times people forget about those things, right? They forget about things do cost more and other unexpected expenses come in through life. Yeah. And the other thing to consider there too is it's, you know, I always say go aspirational because Maybe when you're retired and you only have $4 million instead of $5 million because you bought the house that you loved or Mm -hmm. you did the renovations in your home that you really wanted to do. But at $4 million, you can still do all the things you wanted to do. So it's so important just to run the numbers. Well, you know, Ryan, it's not just a plan. It's not a document. It's not a dead 
book, right? It's a process. And what I love about our annual reviews that we do with all of our clients is how their eyes light up to see, you know, how far they've come. Because you can change, your goals can evolve, your lifestyle can evolve based on the success you have, saving and investing and following a plan. And there's nothing more exciting for us to see someone realize that all those dreams can come true. Yeah, and putting into action. I mean, that's the cool thing about our 360 portal. It's like once we load everything into one place for you, so it's like you don't have a thousand passwords, we can go right in there and play what if. So it's like, okay, I want to retire at 65 and I want to buy this house, but now I want to retire at age 70. We can constantly play with the variables, and that's that's it. It's a working document, and to have technology at your aid where you can look at all these things updated daily and see where things are and where your goals are. I mean, that's pretty awesome. It's like, you gotta use that technology. Hey, right, uh, what else did you find down deep at the bottom of the mailbag this week? Hang on, Bob, my hand's getting way deep down in the uh, email bin, if that makes any sense. Uh, Jake and Kanja Hawken, near our Bluebell office, writes in, Ryan, should I be investing differently as a result of the new tax laws? Good question, as I always say, Bob, money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. And that's one of the reasons why you definitely want to talk to your accountant and your financial advisor together because, yes, there are definitely things that you can do proactively depending on your tax situation. No, you should always review your portfolio in the context of taxes, right? I love a tax-efficient, you know, no-taxable-income portfolio to me is the best strategy. But you know what, Ry? You always have to be careful. You don't want to wag the investment dog with the tax tail. You know what that means is don't make taxes a priority. Achieving your goals should be the priority. Yeah, but once you've laid that foundation down, you know, I always say that, look, you could have a great investment that had a high rate of return last year, but was very tax inefficient. So by the time you pay taxes on that investment, it was a very little return. Whereas you can get a very low return on a tax efficient investment and actually brought home more money from the lower return investment because you paid less to Uncle Sam, that's ideal. And that's one of the things that you want to look at because, you know, last year with the tax laws changing, I know, Bob, you and I did some Roth conversions on our money where we were able to pay less tax on some of our retirement funds earlier because we were looking at the tax rules. And that's something you really want to do. And that's why I like our total financial master plan as well, because if you bring in that tax return, we have a CPA that will review that and make sure you're up to speed this year with the new tax laws and really what you should be taking advantage of. So, Rye, you know, you spoke a lot about this attorney you met with the other night. And on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized was that attorney? I mean, I think he sounded like a two to me. So <laughs> he didn't look good. <laughs> when you asked him uh, where would he like to rank on a scale of one to 10, what did he tell you? Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? Well, absolutely. And if you would like to rank a 10 in your financial life, if you'd like to have all of your financial documents and data organized and simplified, all you'd need to do is be one of our next few callers. See, if you've saved over 200000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. Now, this means everything's organized. All of your account numbers, passwords, security questions for every single account is now organized into one portal, one simplified and organized financial portal. Now, wouldn't it be amazing to be financially organized? If something happened to you, just think about how easy it would be for your children and your spouse to keep working and keep your life working or transitioning your financial affairs in a worst case scenario. If you're one of the next few callers, what we're gonna do is tie it all together for you into our portal, which will give you a window into your financial future. Not only will it do wealth projections, but it'll update your projections to your goals on a daily basis. So you can drop in and look in real time when it's convenient for you. See, we want to answer the age old question. Will you outlive your money or will your money outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years. We want to help take your family from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Get the holistic review now at 844-752-6692. Call or text 844-752-6692. We have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, take advantage. 844-752-6692. Call or text 
752-6692. It's a full holistic financial plan. Simply call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. Hi, I'm a soon-to-be-retired mom. I'm also a grandmother, and as much as I enjoy visiting with my grandchildren, I'd like to be able to head home at the end of the weekend. I also want to make sure that they get a top-notch education one day. And of course, I want to look out for myself as well. With the proper financial plan in place, I can accomplish all of those goals. What about you? What are you doing to prepare for retirement? Make sure your family is cared for in retirement. And please, don't turn your weekend family visits into a permanent vacation. Schedule a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Take control of your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, and our producer, Mark Haywood, smoothest man in North Carolina, so they've said. And Bob and I want to make sure that we educate you, and that's why we put together our newest online video course. Very simple, easy course to download. What you need to know about creating an income you can't outlive just a great baseline for retirement. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Just helps you get started with the planning process. An easy way to do it. Three simple quick videos. Simply text the word bullish 555-888. Text the word bullish to 555-888. And now it's time for my favorite part of the show. We have a very special guest. CFP, Certified Financial Planner, Bob and I's colleague. I don't know what else to say. She's amazing. Michelle McKinnon. Thanks for being on the show this morning, Michelle. Great intro, Ryan. <laughs> Happy to be here. I thought it was certified, fabulous person. Am I mistaken? That that also is true. I mean, there's not a day goes by that she's not fabulous. So, Michelle, um, so this is our spotlight segment. This is where, essentially, we look at a real retirement plan, and we just break down some of the different things, different mistakes people are making and you know how to correct those mistakes to, to make your retirement plan basically bulletproof. So why don't you talk about the case that you worked on this past week and some of the things that you did to make this couple ready to go for retirement, basically. Yeah, I met this really nice client out in New Jersey, and um, he's a doctor, worked all of his life, and had a great amount of savings, pretty much could decide to stop working, but you know, eh, he wants to keep working. And he really had a deep, dark fear of long-term care and running out of money. So Mm. yet again, you know, this person that had a great amount of savings, but really the fears were there of he doesn't have children, so it's all on him, right? And as a doctor, I'm sure he sees it every day that people's money can go from a couple million dollars to absolutely nothing in in a short amount of time. Good reminder of your mortality, for sure. And so... You know, he went to his current advisor and said, you know, kind of express those concerns, express the idea of, you know, needing additional income, safety, and his advisor recommended an annuity. And so he came to me saying, hey, I want a second opinion. Yeah. And that's the thing is, you know, when it comes to income, and I think that's one of the reasons why annuities seem very attractive, is you get a stream of income in retirement. One of the problems typically is with most annuities, you have to give up your principal. And what was his main concern about the annuity? Because that's one thing I don't like when I'm retired is I don't want to give up my principal because that principal is kind of your safety net. Yeah, it it wasn't almost, he wasn't even there yet, Ryan. So his advisor handed him like three huge packets of information on three different annuities, right? And they all have fancy titles and, you know, it was a, a mound of paper each. So he basically said, you know, I don't really don't even know where to start. I've been offered these three annuities. My advisor really isn't helping me. Like, what do you think? So this is a great case that whether you are actually designed to be an annuity or not, like your advisor should be walking you through exactly what annuity does because often we think annuities are expensive. Well, is what you're paying for in that annuity worth what you're getting in return? 
It's usually not. And so, you know, we got down to the basics and we really thought, okay, income. He needs income because really principal protection wasn't necessarily as big of a concern for him because he does have a couple million dollars and he doesn't really spend that much. But he was really worried about that income gap of he has Social Security coming in, but what's going to make the difference of his Social Security minus his expenses that can be more reliant? And, you know, the annuity obviously is often a great choice, but having access to your principal and not having it locked away was another big thing that he never even thought about. Well, I think another thing, since he's concerned about income and retirement, the big risk is really inflation. Don't you agree, Michelle? I mean, it's a, an annuity doesn't grow net of inflation where you know financial assets do. And I think that's the big difference. Absolutely. And I was actually just on the phone with a client right before we did this call. And we were going through their monthly expenses. And you know, I've been having this client for years. And they have a fixed pension, very much like the fixed annuities. And they were like, it's just not cutting it anymore. Yeah. Like inflation is real. <laughs> sure. It That's is. right. I mean, the cost of food goes up, the cost of your insurance, you know, your taxes. It's amazing. You know, it's uh, you don't realize that every 20 years, the cost of living doubles. So that means, Bob, for every million dollars you have, it's worth a half a million dollars 20 years from now. I always I say that's a buzzkill. It's a buzzkill. Buzz and, and people don't understand that, you know, I prepared the analysis, which I'm going to get to in a minute talking about fees, diversification. However, I showed him that I can produce very comparable income that the annuity can produce. But the odds of my income increasing over time might happen. Right. Dividends go up. We think interest rates are going up over time. However, that annuity is fixed. Yeah. Once you turn your annuity on, you never get some sort of uh, wage bump. It is what it is, and that's a real problem in retirement. Well, really what it is is the middleman. They step in, uh, they take your money, they give it to people like us to invest, and then they take a percentage and give you the rest. I mean, why wouldn't you just do it yourself? I, I, and I think that's really the whole point here. Yeah, and I think he wasn't fearful of the markets. He understood the markets. He understood the risks that you're taking. So unlike some people who may necessarily be designed for an annuity that are absolutely fearful and want absolutely no risk at all, Right. He was never given the option that maybe creating that annuity on his own portfolio might be the best fit. Well, I think coming in to see you, Michelle, you ended up doing a complete analysis of his portfolio. And on your recommendation, net of cost, how much can you increase his income on an annual basis? Yeah. Here's the crazy thing. Close to 70 grand. Wow. Wow. Every year? Every year. That's real money. So that's 70 grand going in his pocket every year that he can live on on top of Social Security where he doesn't have to touch his principal and doesn't have to give up his principal, that's pretty sweet. And that's not market related. That's just the fixed rates of return that are available today, right, Michelle? Absolutely, it's three main things. Number one, we were lowering the advisory fees. Number two, we were creating higher income via lower expenses on the funds that we were using, so no mutual funds, all ETFs, a better diversified bond portfolio. And number three, We were actually creating a little bit more safety in the portfolio, lowering his overall risk, which boosted his income. Let's see, higher return, lower risk with liquidity. I like it. That's where Bob would call an offer you can't refuse. Well, great job on this case, Michelle McKinnon, CFP. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a review like this, I need to know what my income gap is, I need to fill it in, and I don't want to give up liquidity in retirement, Here's your shot to do it. We have a couple slots left. If you call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Michelle will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. Simply just take all your statements, put them in a brown paper bag. We'll sort through everything. We'll build you your own personalized portal so we can view all of your investments from a bird's eye view, do a full portfolio x-ray, and determine, number one, income. We're able to increase income and lower fees by $70 a year for this retiree. How much money can we save you? How much can we increase your income by? We're gonna look at diversification. What risks, what pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Are you prepared for inflation? Cost of living, long-term care. We're gonna show you exactly how to fill in that income gap. And then finally, we're gonna tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we'll determine that age-old question. Is your money gonna outlive you? Or more importantly, are you gonna outlive your money? Utilizing strategies we've worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is give us a call or text 
752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, we have a few slots left, and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own 360 financial portal with no obligation, no cost, no strings attached, but you got to call. 844-752-6692. You can text or call 844-752-6692. Woo. Well, another fantastic show this morning, Michelle. It was a real pleasure. As always, Ryan. Hey, Wood. It was great having you on the show for the first time, even though you've been here the whole time. Been here the whole time, Ryan. Thanks for letting me join in. I am getting married this summer, so I'm off to a taco party this evening. Taco party, man. I'll tell you what, you're living it up there. We're, uh, <laughs> I'm jealous. Congratulations. Thank it's you. exciting. Thank you. It, it is exciting. The taco party or the wedding? <laughs> both, <laughs> both, equally. Well, I'm a guy, so probably the tacos, but both, <laughs> equally. equally. <laughs> we won't tell you are a fiance. Bob, what's going on? What's shaking? Starting to get some, feel some sand in my shoes, Rye. Starting to feel the pull the Jersey Shore, get ready to transfer the flag to Ocean City, New Jersey. I love it. We're so close. Well, great show today, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.